Okay, so we're going to pull the right head headset out. This is battery 100%, ready to connect. To start setup, download the Bose Connect app. So over here on the App Store, I've already downloaded the Bose Connect app. So we'll go ahead and open this app. I'll pull the left earpiece out and they're both blinking blue light telling me ready to connect. It says drag to connect, so I'm going to drag down. Bose free sound support. There it is. And it said connected to and the name of my phone. Select your language. Now you can change the name of it at this point if you want to. Make sure it's in my ear securely, which it already is. It says, okay, you're all set. This little circle here is basically telling me it's downloading an update. Now, this update, you see up top, transferring firmware, 57 minutes remaining. Transferring is actually downloading. It's not actually transferring to the device because I previously had these paired before doing this video. This was actually prompting me to enable location services. When you do location services, you have to tell it to do location services always. It doesn't like just to select location services for when app is open and you have to enable notifications. This allows you to use the find my buds feature. Everything seems to be working fine. So this battery's at 100%. At this point, you can connect up to nine more devices, I believe. I had mine up to seven or eight devices before I finally gave up after talking to tech support. I found out that it does run Bluetooth version 4.1. Improvements on the firmware actually make a huge difference. I noticed a noticeable difference in the bass in the mid, especially the bass, between the QC20's noise canceling and the Bose Free Sound Sport. After finally getting firmware 1.2, the sound equalized. They were pretty much identical in sound and volume. They sounded really good. They're really loud for a Bluetooth headset. Now, you can sit here and you can wait forever. And I do mean forever. See, it still says 54 minutes. I was waiting up to two hours before I gave up. It was at 75% done downloading before I moved over to the computer. And I just basically plugged the case into the computer and downloaded the firmware that way.